Hi, my name is Genesee Roy, and I'm going to be your chakra guide for this month as you take the beginner's journey and work with opening window number 40. So how this works um, is every single day that you have thoughts, you have feelings, and you make choices, you're working with your chakra system. Um, the conscious narrative that you're telling yourself is based off of those thoughts, how you feel, and then how you act. And so what stories you put on everything is basically creating the reality outside of you. And so what makes us think, what makes us feel, and then what's showing up in our physical re reality is all also connected to or could be decoded by the chakra system. And so when we're getting into habitual patterns in life, when we find ourselves coming up against, um, you know, uh, blocks or things that we're not quite sure why they're in our path or resistance, whatever you want to call it, um, a lot of times by going inward and looking at the chakra system, we can then decipher or figure out what's going on. And so when we do the beginner's journey, what we do is we take a look at this month and we anchor in one specific master energy. Again, we're working not just with the seven classic chakras here, but we're working with the multidimensional field of chakras. What that means is we, work, we live in a thinking, a feeling, and then a reality plane, the three-dimensional reality. And so when you work in the three-dimensional reality, what we're looking at is the chakra system on those three planes, on those three dimensions, the physical, the emotional, and the mental. And what this does is it creates 77 windows um, to your soul's experience here on earth. And so what we're going to do is we're going to pick one of those windows today and work very consciously with it. Um, maybe you get everything you need today, but I really encourage you to stay present with the information um, and really keep this as a conscious um, path that you're walking for the entire month. As we have new moon cycles and full moon cycles within the month, things activate and things change. We get tested within the duality of the month and we have kind of new awarenesses as we start to work with the energy. And so it's a really beautiful thing if you can maybe write down window 40 Look for the number 40 to show up for you to validate that you're working on this window, working with this energy, and see what happens. So this window is the window of reverence. And um, as a chakra, um, a multidimensional chakra window, what we're working on is the third eye chakra, and we're also working on the heart chakra. So the third eye chakra falls on the physical plane. And when the third eye chakra falls on the physical plane, we're working with our mind. We're not so much working with the intuitive centers. We're not so much in our intuition, the emotional thoughts, um, or I should say the holographic thoughts. Um, we're working with the logical, rational mind, the mind that likes to be very linear, that likes to be calculated, that likes to process and compute. Um, and then when we work with um, window 40, we're also tapping into the heart chakra on the emotional plane. And so when we look at the heart chakra on the emotional plane, what we're working with is the emotional energy of compassion and how we can feel, elicit feelings, right? And so when we take a look at this window in depth, what we're really looking at is how we feel feel about what we're processing in life, what, what, you know, the logical mind is processing. And a lot of times when the heart is being called to do things, when we're feeling things and yet the mind is stuck in an old program, an old loop, what happens is we tend to get somewhat stuck. Now, the energy here that we're looking to unfold or to unlock is that of reverence, right? Reverence to me is to have a deep respect for something that you're doing. Um, reverence is to, it's, a, it's definitely a heart energy. To have reverence is to just have a deep appreciation and respect um, and to continue. It's almost like forging forward, right? Um, and so when we look at that in connection to the heart chakra of compassion and the third eye chakra of the mind, what we're really unlocking is our own ability to have um, compassion towards what we want to do, what we're feeling, but then what we're 
possibly processing or what the analytical or logical mind is telling us. And so when I look at this energy as a window, what I typically see is somebody who's got a lot of ideas. They've got a lot of things going on in their mental center. Again, the analytical mind is a computer. It's a database. It stores everything, right? Um, and so this is somebody who has a lot of concepts, a lot of ideas, a lot of thoughts. And then what we're trying to do is figure out what do we need to move forward? Where is that reverence, right? Where can I put that reverence into action and move forward with something that really fulfills me? And so that's really the mastery of what we work with when we look at these two chakras coming together to create an opening within your energetic field. So as we work and anchor into this energy of this month, what we're looking at is um, the energy of, of spirituality, right? And so when we talk spirituality, we're talking those things that are destined for us, those things that are a part of our divine destiny that have been, um, uh, we'll say, have been gifted to you. And what happens when something spiritual and gifted to you, it comes down into your crown chakra, right? Um, and of course, this is a very uh, linear way to do this. This isn't actually how it happens, but um, we'll just keep with the whole kind of uh, crown chakra to root chakra energy, the manifesting flow. So when something's manifesting into your life, it hits your crown chakra awareness first. And what that does is it starts to change your reality. It starts to bring in new new thoughts, new feelings. But again, it's not anything that you can usually grab a hold of at the, at the level of a spiritual change. Basically, things start shifting and you don't quite know what's happening, but you know something on, is on the horizon and something's changing. And so this month is all about a spiritual shift. Things are kind of changing and you don't quite know what it is yet because it hasn't settled into the third eye yet, um, but things are changing. And so what this master energy is saying is that you have been working towards, you have been in your mind preparing and arranging and creating containers and file folders for this new thing that's coming in, but you don't quite know what or how or when or why or who is going to usher it in. But you've been ready, you've been preparing. And so there's a lot in your mind. And when this actually happens, the goal when you work with the energy of window 40 of reverence is to make sure that you're moving forward in a way that is in alignment to the spiritual destiny and not to old patterns, old programs, anything that's going to be of the linear mind that is already done, that is kind of limited, that is boxed in, that isn't something out of the box. Because when we talk spirituality, we're talking things that haven't been here before. We're talking out of the box ideas and concepts. We're not talking about things that you've already done, you've already explored. This is how do you take things to the next level? So this month, I would really be, um, I would be, looking for, you know, those, um, those moments when things just feel like they're shifting, things feel like they're changing around you and you don't quite know what or why, and yet you're feeling really motivated to do something, or maybe it plays with some of these concepts or ideas that you've been thinking about for so long. And so how do you know what's right? Again, you've got to tap into the heart because part of this window opening is to make sure it's a connected to the heart energy, which the heart energy is all about your authenticity. It's about what really motivates you. The heart is going to give life um, to whatever you're bringing through. There's sometimes when we do things, um, spiritually speaking, that are just supposed to get us in alignment and aren't supposed to manifest here on earth yet. So that's why a lot of people have a hard time with working with manifestation because they feel like they're doing everything right and things are coming through and it seems like you're getting all the right signs and then you move forward and then it doesn't happen how you thought it was going to happen. That's because that that part of your spiritual alignment was just to get you shifted in the right direction. It wasn't the end all be all to your entire game plan. And so when something comes in that's connected to the mind, spirituality, and your heart, 
this is something that's actually meant to manifest. When the heart energy gets involved, you're investing your human essence, you're investing your life force energy into this. And so we have to make sure that we're feeling it. It can't just be mental. It can't just be one of these ideas and the signs are aligning, but we don't feel it. So when you're working with reverence this month or working with um, this window 40, I would really encourage you to start to tap in to yourself at a level where you understand what it means to be operating in the mind and the mental field and all of those containers or projects or ideas that you have, which can be very logical, very concrete, um, and then see what it feels like when you actually work through one of those things that are coming in that feels right from an idea or a concept point and what happens when the heart or the emotions, the whole body is invested in making this thing work. So when we work with master energy, I love numerology. Again, I've said 40, 100 times here. Um, look for 40s to show up, right? How do you stay on path? How do you stay grounded? with working with this window, right? The chakras are very non-physical things. So how do we constantly get validation when we need it? Look for the number 40 to show up and remind you that you're working on the mastery of reverence this month and really unlocking and removing any kind of limitation from this um, physical third eye chakra and the emotional heart chakra. Um, so look for the number 40. Also, um, you know, when, uh, so when you're out and about, um, it could be things that just um, align to this. It could be somebody saying, oh, your heart's really in that project, right? Or somebody saying, wow, your mind is working on overdrive, right? Things that will click in. So it's just as simple as this when you need the validation, it will show up, but you have to be willing and ready to trust it. So um, I encourage you to play with window 40 this month. Um, you know, I also love wearing the colors of the energy to really evoke and remind myself that this is what I'm working on. So third eye chakra is purple, sacral chakra, oh, excuse me, not sacral. Um, that's going really deep. Uh, heart chakra is green. Um, so Mardi Gras colors if you want, um, but purples, greens, you know, um, you can draw, you can draw a third eye and a heart or whatever you want. Um, I love to just keep things anchored. Anything that can be physical and anchor you here and help you remember what you're working towards really bridges the gap between working in um, a spiritual or non-physical way. So uh, that is where I'm going to leave you this month with so much light and love to unlock window 40, uh, the energy of reverence in your life this month.